Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm sharing with you my Rite Aid in-store shopping haul. I did come out to my local Rite Aid store today to take advantage of some pretty phenomenal once-in-a-lifetime savings opportunities. If you have not yet had a chance to do so, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. I do appreciate you stopping by and hello to all of my new wonderful subscribers. I can't believe how many I've gained. I have this wonderful YouTube follower as well as a person that I follow myself by the name of Mrs. Empty Nester who gave me this awesome shout out the other day. Thank you so much giving you a big YouTube hug right now. Um, she had actually gone ahead and mentioned my channel on one of her videos and I have had a lot of response. So I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart to the top. Thank you so much. And to anyone who is new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking about my one transaction that was completed at Rite Aid today for Thursday, June 1st, 2023. This is the best of the best Procter and Gamble deal. I did want to take advantage of points earning times 10. I did also want to take advantage of spend $50 or more, earn back $10 in bonus cash weekly spend booster coupon we have. I did also want to take advantage of spend $30 or more on select Procter & Gamble items and earn back $10 in bonus cash limit of two. So in this transactional haul, I'm going to cover with you all the details, the ins and outs of what I did and how I got all of this stuff after just bonus cash rolling essentially free plus a minimal little money maker. So let's talk about everything. So I did go into the store like super duper excited. And because I was one of the first people in the store, even before the pharmacy had opened for the day, I actually got a surprisingly good turnout of things I wanted. I am so like overwhelmed because it was such a good, good, great day to shop. And everything worked out so perfect that tomorrow I may want to come back and actually do more dependent upon the day. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But for today, let's cover with you what exactly I ended up doing and what ended up happening. So I needed to be above $60 as far as Procter & Gamble items so I could take advantage of the two earning opportunities for the week. And after my load to card digital coupons came off, I wanted to make sure I was above the $50 price point so I could take advantage of utilizing two $5 off, $25 or more purchase-based coupons. So earlier at the start of this week, Rite Aid had emailed us all out a $5 off, $25 or more purchase base coupon. So I right away screenshotted that, saved that in my album. Now, I don't know if you're too familiar with other YouTubers who coupon, but Real Deals on YouTube, as well as Ravi Patel, have posted in their community tabs new $5 off $25 or more purchase based coupons. There are also other ways to get them. We got our new monthly mailer coupon books in the mail. I got mine actually today. So some may be arriving today or some of you may have got it in the past week. I'm not sure how your mail comes through. But inside there, they have all different kinds of coupons. Like I had some coupons that would have lowered like my out-of-pocket total a little bit more, but then they would have counteracted with the five off 25s. They also have Catalina coupons where you can go ahead 
and have something that spits out from the little printer and it can say like five off 25, three off 10. You know, it just all depends on that day what's going to happen for you. I know today when I went, the pharmacy was given out $3 off, $10 or more purchase based coupons from the Catalina printer. I know some people were getting like $22 off $110 or more on the bottom of their receipts. Uh, I know I got a few 9 off 25, not 9 off 25, 9 off 45 dollar or more purchase based coupons. And I like never get things from the Catalina unless I don't enter, enter my phone number. So it was a really, really good day, weird day, but I wanted to make sure I got above that 60 and I got after my load to cart digital coupons above $50 so I could use the two 5 off 25s. So that way I earn like always around all different types of deals and savings and such. So when I went ahead and I was calculating, I calculated my transaction as fall. I picked up one of the Tide Hygienic Clean Laundry Detergents. This is the 92 ounces. And this is all pretty much like my whole transaction is a digital deal. This is the UPC barcode if you're looking for it. I had a $3 off digital low to card coupon. It did apply to the $12.99 purchase price. This is a sale. I did also pick up a Tide Power Ponds and a Gain Flings. I had a $3 off digital coupon for the Gain Flings. Here is the UPC barcode for this one in case you're wondering which one to choose that will apply the $3. And I'll share with you the UPC barcode for the Tide Power Pods. And this one's actually bigger as far as ounces is concerned, comparison to the Gain Flings. So if you want to go ahead and pick these up, they're $12.99 each, okay? And each has a $3 off digital load to card coupon that does apply during the checkout process. I also picked up one of these Downy Unstoppables and I will share the UPC barcode as far as this one. And there is a $3 off digital logo card and it's on sale for $12.99. I have to keep repeating that so everyone knows and understands. And I also wanted to pick up as, an, as like a little filler item, these Always Pads. They didn't have a huge selection. I was looking for more of these but I picked up these two because they were both priced at $5.69 each. They are on sale for buy one, get one 50% off, and they're part of the spend 30, earn back $10 in bonus cash, Procter & Gamble promotion. So that's the UPC barcode regarding that one. And then here's the UPC barcode for the other one. Again, both regularly $5.69, the first one rings up $5.69. The second one rings up half off minus a penny. So essentially $2.84 for the second one, $5.69 for the first one. That's at my store and prices vary. Stock varies, things like that. I can tell you a little secret. I needed a filler item. I went to the back of the store to where they sell dollar and two dollar items and I picked up these good sense flap ties. These were two dollars which isn't bad considering and that was the filler item that I needed to make sure I was definitely after my digital load card coupons of three, six, nine, twelve coming off that I was above still fifty dollars after the digital load to car coupons. So I went ahead and how I went throughout my process is I handed that cashier first off the Good Sense flap ties. Since there wasn't a lot of clearance 37 cent items in the store today, I just proceeded to hand this one because Procter & Gamble has another promotion where if you spend $50 after coupons, you can earn yourself a $15 prepaid Visa gift card in their made to save rebate that's taking place now through June 30th. It does have a limit of two per household, 
but if you wanted to, you could actually combine more than one receipt. So say for example, I'm gonna show you this haul now, and I have just about $40 of tracking. So then like on another receipt, if I get above 10 after coupons, then I can go ahead and I can get myself another $15 prepaid Visa gift card for someone. It doesn't have to be myself because for myself personally, I max out the deal. But for someone else, I can go ahead and make sure that they get a gift card, you know, on behalf of my purchases. So at least it's not going to waste. Now, I also can go ahead and upload my receipt to Procter & Gamble. They're going to give me 50 points per each Procter & Gamble purchased item that I picked up. And with that, it's a limit of five items per receipt, maximum of 250 points per receipt. So then I can go ahead and eventually turn 750 points into like a Dunkin' Donuts prepaid gift card or something fun like that. So let's cover my receipt and see what I can share with you as far as what I did. So I picked up those trash bags for $2. There's one of my $5 off, $25 or more purchase-based coupons. I also went ahead and I picked up the Downy Unstoppables for $3 off. I also went ahead and I picked up the Tide Pods for $12.99 and I had a $3 off digital load to card coupon. I picked up one of the Tide 92 ounce for $12.99. I had the $3 off digital load to card coupon apply. I picked up one of the Gain Flings for $12.99 minus the $3 off digital load to card coupon. I also went ahead and picked up two of those Always pads and you'll see my second five off 25. I paid with a total of $42.49 in bonus cash and I earned myself back $30 in bonus cash. I earned $10 for the website barcode of spend 50 earn back $10 in bonus cash and I also earned for $10 in bonus cash for spending 30 or more on Procter & Gamble products twice so that's where the $30 comes but the greatest part of all was the 10 times earning of points today I earned back 725 normal points and then my bonus points was 5,620 points for a grand total of 6,325 points in total. Oh my goodness. So that means that altogether I earned back approximately 12 over 12 dollars like 12 dollars and 64 cents in points so that means 4264 40, 4264 was given back to me i spent 4249 in bonus cash and then if i save this receipt the way it is Procter & Gamble's made to save offer is if you spend 20, you earn back a $5 prepaid Visa gift card. So I could choose to submit it the way it is for someone, like a family member or such, or wait until I bump it up to over 50 because each of those $3 off digital load to card coupons for the made to save rebate count against the total that I need to get to and be at. So as I said, I spent $42.49 in bonus cash, and that's also including the flat ties. So that's nowhere near the $50. It's not even like close. It's it's off by ten, more than $10, realistically. So with though everything as it stands, with those points that I got, the 10 times, again, that equates out to approximately $12.64 and then with the $30 in bonus cash, that's $42.64. And then you would subtract the $42.49 that I went ahead and paid. That's a 15 cent money maker. Now I can choose to either make it a $5.15 money maker or an almost there $15.15 
moneymaker. I'm going to submit to Procter & Gamble, get back my 250 points for picking up five of the Procter & Gamble products. I also have tracking towards my monthly bonus cash challenges that I have. So I have a gain, a downy, and a tide monthly bonus cash challenge that I've selected. And some of them are a little bit high, but if they have promotions and keep having promotions, like these items are great to add. And the full $12.99 counts towards what I need to get to as far as my challenge money is concerned. And you won't get that challenge money until the beginning of July, but whatever purchases I made happen in May and in June, as long as I selected the challenge before I picked up the items, I will have tracking towards. So totally awesome. I'm so, so happy. And in addition to that, I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and I earned back a dollar sixty from Ibotta. I earned ten cents any rebate, and then I had an always rebate, and it's a limit of one for these pads. But if you get like different ones, you can have a two dollar rebate and a dollar fifty rebate. It just depends. So you can always scan those barcodes and see what rebates you have for Ibotta. So if I don't include that prepaid Visa gift card and I don't include the 250 points, I'm going to get back through Procter & Gamble's gift card opportunity. That means that this total haul was a $1.75 moneymaker after extra points were received and all. So that is absolutely fantabulous and wonderful in more ways than one. This is a made-to-save grand Rite Aid haul. Thank you so, so much to Rite Aid for going ahead and making this fabulous day happen. I hope you all certainly get a chance to embark on a wonderful journey to Rite Aid. And don't forget all of the savings opportunities before checkout. When you gather all of your items and you get to the total you feel like you need to be at, don't forget to scan that spend 50, earn back $10 in bonus cash coupon, have your five off 25 coupons ready to scan. There's two of them, remember I was telling you about. And then keep in mind, if you have any monthly bonus cash challenges for over at Rite Aid, go onto the website, select them. If you're picking up the product, you might as well. It's extra money that's going to pop through come July. And don't forget, whenever you want to convert your points over to bonus cash, make sure your total is above 1,000. And you can go ahead and convert each 1,000 points that you earn to $2 in bonus cash. Your points are good for 90 days. Your bonus cash itself is good for 30 days from the day you earn it. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a great, wonderful Thursday and a nice, wonderful, cool upcoming weekend. Thanks for stopping by now. Take care. Bye.